Sailfish are found in tropical and warm temperate waters, typically in areas with clear water and abundant bait fish. Some of the best places to kite fish for sail fish include offshore Miami to the Florida Keys, the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and the Pacific coast of Mexico. I'm fortunate enough to live along the coast of Sailfish Alley in South Florida, and it's less than an hour run from my local marina to some of the best sail fishing grounds in the world. So kite fishing is a very unique way of targeting sailfish. It involves a kite from which a drop line hangs attached to the lure or the bait, in this case, live herring that we used. The kite is flown over the water, and as the bait floats near the surface until a sailfish or other pelagic takes the bait, then the kite drops immediately, signaling that the bait has been taken and the fish, uh, the, the, the hook could be set and you could fight that fish to the boat. With a live well full of herring, we turn the boat and head offshore. During the hour or so ride offshore, the crew sets up the sailfish rigs for kite. There are two main types of kites used for kite fishing. Kites with a single line and kites with multiple lines. Uh, single lines are much easier to set up and control, particularly if you're out on the boat by yourself and don't have a crew, but you can only fish one bait at a time. Kites with multiple lines are more difficult to set up, but they can be used to fish multiple baits at a time. For our charter on the double threat out of Coconut Grove, the crew rigged up two kites and six lines, with each kite managing three lines at varying distances from the boat, short, medium, and long. This way we covered a very wide arc of uh, water. After th that is done, you cast the bait out from the boat and you let it swim naturally behind the kite. The kite will create a wake that will attract the fish. Choosing the right bait. The best bait for kite fishing is what the sailfish are eating and using live bait. Some of the best live bait for sailfish includes the Google Eyes, Blue Runners, Herring, and Mullet. Bridling the bait helps to keep it alive and swimming naturally. To bridle the bait, you use a circle hook and a rubber band and a thread needle. You thread the rubber band through the bait uh, by his mouth or underneath his eye socket and out the other side. Then you, then you thread the circle hook through the rubber band, twist that a few times, and secure it to the top of the fish. And now you have a, a bait fish that will swim and naturally and stay alive. And now you just gotta wait. It's a waiting game. Sailfish are fast and aggressive, and when a sailfish bites, it will often take the bait out of the water, and you will feel the strong tug on your line. He'll jump and you'll be able to set the hook and, and engage in battle with a sailfish. All right, sailfish. All right. I'll get the sailfish. Sailfish are built for speed and power. They can reach speeds in excess of 65 miles an hour and are strong enough to peel off hundreds of yards of fishing line and fight and jump for 20 to 30 minutes. After a few long runs and spectacular jumps, the sailfish is tired and the battle is almost over. Now you just have to tag the fish, get some quick photos, and safely release the sailfish back to the ocean so he can go and fight another day. Come on.